Hi, welcome to my video on the volume of a sphere. The volume of a sphere. A sphere is a ball. Notice we have a round, we have a circle, but this broken line here indicates that that's the axis that's uh, running to make it look like a three-dimensional ball. Notice it has a center O with a radius of R. O is the center of the sphere. The distance from the center O to any point on the sphere, surface of the sphere, is the radius. So the radius is from the center to any point. So if we want, we could say that's a radius. So we could say that's the radius of the sphere. Any of these would be the radius of the sphere because these points all lie on the surface of a sphere. All radii are equal, as in a circle, and the diameter is twice the radius. So the formula for the volume of a sphere is V equals 4 over 3 pi r cubed, where pi is going to be approximately 3.14, and r is your radius. Let's work out some of the volumes. of. i got some examples down here. I want to round them to the nearest tenth. First one, A, a radius of 3. If it has a radius of 3, so V equals 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So that's 4 over 3, 3.14 times the radius is 3, so it's 3 in brackets cubed. Now, in order to work this out, let's turn on my calculator here and plug in this info. So it's 4 division 3 times 3.14 times 3, and this is the power button on this calculator, and that's same, same as 3 cubed, and that works out to be 113.04. So it's 113.04. And we're saying to the nearest tenth, so that's tenth place, so that becomes a zero, and this number is less than Five, so we do not add anything on. So the final answer is 113 and it's millimeters being cubed. Okay, let's do B, diameter. If the diameter is 8.4, that means the radius is a half of that, so it's 4.1. So the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. You have to memorize that formula. 4 over 3 times 3.14 and the radius is 4.1 and we're going to cube it. So if you multiply again 4 divided by 3 times 3.14 4.1 all cubed we when we work that out we get 288.549 and we're rounding to the nearest tenth so they become zeros. Tenth the 5 is in the 10th place, so all the numbers to the right, digits to the right, become 0. This number is less than 5, so we do not change it. So it's 288.5. The 5 won't change because that's less than 5. 4 is less than 5. And that's feet, so that's cubic feet. And again, we have a diagram indicating that it's a sphere, just not a circle. And that means the radius of OF, OF is 6.4, so 6.4 is the radius and is meters. So the volume is formula 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Memorize it. You'll need it for the future. 4 over 3 pi is 3.14 and a 6.4 being cubed. Plug that in your calculator and when you do, you will get 1097.509 and that works out to be uh, to the nearest tenth they become zeros and this number is less than this digit is less than five so we do not change the five so it's 1097.5 and we have meters so this is cubic meters as the volume D. 
we have a sphere again, the same diagram, but we're saying that uh, O is the center, so that means that that's a radius, that means that that's a diameter. So if AB is 7.6, that means the radius is the half of that is 3.8 inches. It says that AB is the diameter of the sphere, so OA is the radius. And the volume is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. 4 over 3 times 3.14. And the radius is 3.8 being cubed. Again, plug that into your calculator and you'll come up with 229.7307 and more. And you round that off to the nearest tenth. So seven is in the tenth place, so all the digits to the right become zero. This number is less than five, so we don't change the seven. So 229.7. And it's inches, so it's cubic inches. So work some examples there for you. Again, you have to practice your computer, making sure you're okay. Now we have another page. And this time we have practice. Practice means you work them out to see if you're going to get the right answer. Pause the video, work out each one, one at a time, and play it back one at a time. Here we go. Find the volume of each sphere to the nearest tenth. So the radius is 4, so the volume is formula 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So it's 4 over 3 times 3.14. And the radius is 4, so it's 4 cubed. Again, when you plug it in the calculator, 4 divided by 3 times 3.14 uh, times 4 power button 3 when you cube it. So that gives you 267.946. You got a round of the tenths, so there's zeros for those. 9 is in the tenth place. That's less than 5, so we don't change. So it's 2, 6, 7, the 9 won't change. And it's centimeters, so it's cubic centimeters. Number 2, we have a diameter of 10.8. That means the radius is half of that, so it's 5.4 miles. MI is for miles. And we want to find the volume is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. 4 over 3, 3.14, and it's 5.9, 5.9 cubed. The calculator for that one will give you, when you work that one out, uh, you'll get, just let's uh, have a go at that one and see. Oh, 4.9, that's 4.5. A half of 10.8 is 5.4. Oh, be careful. 5.4. And when you work out a calculator, you get 959.249. And you're going to the nearest tenth. So again, they become zeros. Two is in the tenth place. And the two won't change because the four is less than five. And as miles, so it's the rate, the volume is cubic, miles cubed. Number three, we have a sphere, O is the center, that means OX is the radius, so we have a radius of 13.2. And it's in uh, feet, so the volume is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. 4 over 3. 3.14, 13.2 being cubed. The calculator, work it out, and you'll get 9629.199. And we have to round it to the nearest tenths, so they become the one is in the tenths place. So all digits to the right become zero. Nine is greater than five, so we add one to the ones. It makes it a two. So nine six two nine point two, and it's feet. So volume is cubic. Now we have what about the volume of a hemisphere? Well, a hemisphere is a half a sphere. So if we take a sphere 
and cut it in two. If you take a, an orange or a ball and cut it half in two, you get the top part divided into two spheres. As you say, north, north, northern and southern sphere or eastern and western sphere, but it's a half. So that means the volume of a hemisphere is half the volume of a sphere. So that's what I do. I work out the volume of a sphere and then I take a half. It's better, I think it's better than you only had to memorize one formula. So let's do the volume of a sphere, which is four over three pi r cubed. So that's four over three and we got a radius is 10, so pi is 3.14, and the radius is 10 and cubit. Again, with a calculator, that works out to be 4186.66 that goes on. So, the volume of a hemisphere, just put it HEMI, is half of that. So this is the way I, I think about doing it. So you take a half with a calculator, divide by two, and you'll get 2093.333. And when you round that off, that's, you get 2093.3, and you got cubic feet. This three is in the tenth place. This is so all these become zeros right here. And it do not increase this three any because that's less than five. B, we have X, Y as a diameter. That's the diameter. That means the radius is going to be a six half the diameter. So the volume of a sphere is four over three pi r cubed. That's four over three times 3.14 times the radius, which is six cubed. And that works out to be 904.32. And so the volume, let's go up here, of a hemisphere is half of that. So 904.32. And that gives you 452.16. And we have to round it off to the nearest tenth. So one is in the tenth place, so that becomes zero. And we because that's great five or greater, we add one to the one. So four, five, two, point two. And it's millimeters, so it's millimeters cubed. So I work the two of these out again. I, I, what I do is I work out the formula for a, a sphere and then I take a half because you keep memorizing the formulas. You don't want, we have a lot of formulas for surface area and volume and area, so the less formulas you have, the better it makes it. Practice means pause the video and work each one, as you pause the video, work this one out, see if you get it right, press play, and do that for number two. The diameter is six, so the radius is three. That means the volume is 4 over 3 pi r cubed because we're getting the volume of a sphere first. So that's 4 over 3, 3.14 times 3 cubed. And that gives us, when you work it out, 113.04. And now we get the volume of a hemisphere, HEMI, call it. So that's a half of 113.04 and that gives 56.52 and we got to round that off so to the nearest tenth right that's what it's saying here five is in the tenth place so that's a zero there this is a less than five so we do not change so it's five six five this five won't change because that's less than five and that's a meter, so this is cubic meters. And we have another one to do, and OH is the radius this time. So the volume of a sphere is four over three pi r cubed. So that's four over three, 
3.14 and it's 3.8 and we're going to cube it. We'll plug that into a calculator and that comes out to be 229.730 and more. And so the volume of a hemisphere, HEMI, is half of the sphere, so it's 229.730, dot, dot, dot. And that answer comes when you take a half of it. If you take the answer and divide by 2, same as taking a half, so you get 114.865, one, etc. And you round that off as 1148 is in the tenth place. This number is there's all zeros to the right. This number is the ten eight is in the tenth place. So six is the number to the right is five or greater. So we add one to the eight to make it a nine. That is a nine and it's inches cubed. And that takes us to the last page on working out the volume of a sphere and a hemisphere. Don't forget the formula. 4 over 3 pi r cubed is the volume of a sphere and hemisphere is half that volume. If you like my video, click the like button, click the subscribe button, and the notification bell because there's more videos coming. You write a comment if you're a subscriber and you want to visit my math website mathfullyexplained.com and there you have a section on me, my degrees of teaching experience, have a section on video, tells you what the teaching strategy is going to use to help you learn, and there's a section on content, which is the topics they're going to have online, and in uh, black font, it's us online right now, and the red font is what will be online in the near future. Thank you very much for viewing the video. Bye-bye.